Hello, today I'm going to show you how to add items with variants. These are products that have colors or sizes like clothing. Just search for the app by a breeze technology in your Clover app store. After we're going to show you how to add those to your Shopify store or WooCommerce and so forth. Now let's go to our items with variants app that we've already pre-installed. From here under inventory, you can see items with variants. Give your product a name, call it my t-shirt. Give it a price, cost, and a skew. Select the category. and add any other information you may need. At the bottom you see add attributes. You choose your colors or sizes. Here I'm just going to do colors. These are the pre-colors I've added and if I just want to just add black, green, and yellow I'll do that and remove blue. Now I have three items. The SKUs are all the same. You're going to want these to be unique for a shopping cart. So I'm just going to update this as BLK G R N and yellow and then hit submit success we are adding items now this process may take a few minutes from here look in your store and in inventory and here you go migrate t-shirt you can see they have three products here under mint and a price. There is no inventory, but you can add stock count now. Do that. And hit done. Now that you've added your matrix item, you can use eSync to create this in your web store. So now let's go to our Cosmos eSync dashboard at cosmosesync.com and we're going to upload that matrix item with variants to our WooCommerce shopping cart. Here you can see we have a task that's already created with actions inside. Actions are the operations you want to achieve. Create a matrix and send inventory levels for matrix. You can also schedule your task by the minute interval or an hour interval. For this instance, we're just going to run on demand. Let's check out our WooCommerce store, hit refresh, and you can see we have three items there. Let's run eSync. The upload to creating product could take a few minutes or a few hours depending on how many products you have. Once complete, you also get an activity log. Your activity log will show you the data that has transpired during that transaction. You can download and view your activity log here. Let's log into our WooCommerce store again and hit refresh. Now you can see my great t-shirt is here in stock and if we click edit You now see your variations here, black, green, and yellow. You will, you'll also notice that there are no images at this time. Images will be available once Clover can extend the API to support images. That's it. If you have any questions, please contact us at cosmocentral.com with a K and start your free trial today.